Is it about this time or had you already said almost a, a, as a plea mm. to God, mm. use me? It was around that time that I had just opened my arms in church and said, I'm available, God, I'm available. Use me in whatever way, whatever way you want, I'm ready. I think you were on your own. This mm -hmm. was after uh, your divorce. That's right. And so you were really mm -hmm. just kind of a woman out there mm -hmm. with all this, all this equipping already. Yes. When did you know that it would be Africa? It was um, just prior to my first trip in 2006 when I had been doing my investigating and my heart just had a tug for Africa. Mm. Now, you have a master's in social work. I do. But your specific role Mm -hmm. Your mission is, is taking somewhat of another direction mm -hmm. based on what you've already experienced in Zambia. Mm -hmm. Tell us what part of Zambia you're going to and, and what you've become passionate about. Well, I'm going to Chingola in Zambia. And what I'm most passionate about, and I guess it's like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it's the hunger. When I was there, I was there in the position of a social worker in 2006. I was giving Christ-centered care to people. I was, I was extending Christ's love to them. But what really touched me was the hunger. The fact that I was meeting children who weren't going to have a meal that day and maybe not even a, a meal the next day. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, this can't be right. This, 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 is, this can't be happening. This isn't just, it's not fair. With the abundance that we have in North America, couldn't we at least take into consideration these children and provide them at least with one meal a day? Mm -hmm. So that was really what drove me to get further involved and, 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 and really one of the main reason really that I'm going. Yeah. Okay, I wanna show the T-shirt. Um, this is, I hadn't seen this until today. Mm -hmm. um, the cool thing that's happened is you're building quite a community of, of people who've taken interest in, in some way or other. That's right. And you've got a whole tree here. Wendy, help me flesh this out. Um, but I love your slogan. You see mm -hmm. at the bottom, uh, part of the impossible. And of course, you're challenging people to be part of the impossible. That's right. Now, when you, I'll, I'll pick this up again in a minute. Mm -hmm. When you first gave me your card and I saw this be part of the impossible, I didn't see impossible. And certainly when we talk about the needs yeah. in Africa, mm -hmm. the, the size of the need, yes. it does look impossible. That's here's what one little woman say. gonna go and do, you're not even sure what. But I looked at it and thought, I'm possible. You did. And at some point you said that, you said, I'm possible. Mm -hmm. I don't know what God's going to do with me or through me, but I'm possible. Mm -hmm. And I thought of Isaiah, who said in Isaiah 6 and verse 8, well, first God spoke. He said, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Mm -hmm. And Isaiah said, Here am I. Send me. Yes. I'm possible. Mm -hmm. I'm available. Mm -hmm. And so I, I'm, I will always look at your, your website, your, your sort of mission challenge as uh, I'm possible. And you're finding, you don't mind me changing that, do you, Wendy? Not at all. From your impossible to I'm possible. I like it. Uh, you are encountering people who, who actually have given themselves their own banner. That's right. Hands of hope. That's right. Where are you finding hands of hope that are signing on in some way encouraging you, participating with you mm -hmm. as you go? Well, it started out especially with this particular information letter um, in my home church. Now I go to the meeting house, so we meet in homes during the week. And uh, my home church took an interest right away when I told them that this was my calling. And um, when, they were putting, when they were helping me put together this information letter, they decided that Hands of Hope was, was a title that they could relate to because they saw themselves as, as extending their hands and extending their hope, <clears throat> excuse me, across the ocean to these complete strangers that they were about to meet through me and through my website in Zambia. 
Um, I know last week you were on your way to the University of Guelph. That's right. To talk with a professor there yes. about clean yep. water That's and right. some of the latest technology. Mm -hmm. um, you've brought some contributions that represent what some hands mm -hmm. have been busy doing. Yes. Let's take a look at those. Well, here I have some, some hats. As, as, as many of your listeners know, I'm sure, it can get very cold in Zambia, especially in the evening. It can get down mm -hmm. to about five or six degrees. And um, a friend of mine, her mom, Mrs. Bambridge, has made these lovely caps mm -hmm. for babies. This has been popular already. It has for, been. Hasn't it? It has and, been, I uh, know. We, we just keep learning that it's a welcome uh, contribution. Your son mm -hmm. is going to be joining you at some point. He's mm -hmm. going to come over. He will come, yeah. And even your ex-husband. That's right. Has become a cheerleader. Oh, absolutely. He's one of my biggest cheerleaders in all of this. In fact, he was one of the first people to say that he thought it was a wonderful idea and that he would do anything he could to help me. God has turned your story around, Wendy. He really has. It's amazing. He really has. He's amazing. I, I look at your tree here and obviously these are some of the things that you expect to be about. Mm -hmm. Building schools, mm -hmm. sharing life, fighting hunger, lending a hand, cultivating relationships, loving, spreading hope, clean water, providing comfort, health care, self-sustaining communities. Mm -hmm. And by responding to God's call, you're creating one here that has the, the privilege of being part mm -hmm. of changing the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're the Joan of Arc leading the way, <laughs> but you're taking a lot of love, yes. a lot of support, a lot of mm -hmm. enlarged vision yes. with you as yes. people are getting out of themselves mm -hmm. and into this yes. great project. Yes. I'm just amazed at the people that God is bringing into this project to help me. I mean, when God called me to care about hunger and to care about water projects, he, he called someone who didn't really know anything about water or agricultural projects. Called you into a schoolroom, didn't he? Yes. You're learning a lot. I am learning an awful lot of things, but he brought the experts to me. And mm. so now I have people who are expert in, experts in water and agricultural projects helping me out. A professor at the University of Guelph who's actually going to be in Zambia in September, an agrogeologist. He just is going happens to, to be going? Well, I think God had something to do with that, Moira. Wow. Yeah. You better be journaling. Well, I will be journaling. This I just received over the weekend two journals, gifts given from friends, knowing hint. that I was going. I think it was a big, pretty strong hint, hint, and I told them, yes, that uh, yes, I would be doing that. One yeah. of the things I'm I'm thrilled about, um, you know, psychosocial needs mm -hmm. a term we hear more and more because so many children have lost both parents, yeah. uh, sometimes uh, the next caregiver. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are serial orphans. They just yeah. keep losing their caregivers to AIDS mm -hmm. and those who love and support them. So there, there is the need for grief counseling, Absolutely. For, for helping them mm -hmm. through these emotions and, yeah. and on into mm -hmm. uh, new life. You're so well mm -hmm. equipped for that. Your heart's already there. That's right. Yeah. Wendy, what would you say to the person who's sitting watching us here and looking at life dreams in, in fragments in mm -hmm. front of them. You've been there I for have. a long chapter. I have. Wondering what would become of your life and, and f just a prisoner of fear. Mm -hmm. It does not have to go on. Fear is something that is very, very difficult to deal with. I've been through it and it can be devastating, but God is bigger than all our fears and he can take them away. He's released me from that. And so I say to the people out there, have hope. Have mm -hmm. hope in that situation because it's not forever. Mm -hmm. Look what God can do. And the scripture on my heart is 2 Chronicles 16, verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. Mm -hmm. You're going on this brave mission, solo mission, Yes. But I pray that will be your daily experience, that you will be strengthened mm -hmm. as you discover why God called you to go. Mm -hmm. And I know you would encourage us to have the, the courage to say, Lord, use me. Yes. What have you planned for me? Yes. And then, well, when he tells you, he also provides, he works on our wanter, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. So that then we can 
obey yeah. what he wants us well, to do. Well, that's what I was going to say, Moira. It's all, it, it, for me, it was all about obedience. It was saying, yes, I will do what you ask. Yeah. Mm. Well, you and keep then assembling a community because it isn't about me, is it? Yeah, I'm the person going, but it's all the other people who have given me donations and who are sharing so much of what they have that I'm taking with me. Well, you know what? You might like to track with this wild woman. <laughs> uh, the, it's www.partoftheimpossible.com. And this is the kind of information we'll be, uh, you'll be blogging. Absolutely. Keeping I will. us up to date on just yeah. what's in this adventure. Mm -hmm. I will. Wendy, I'm glad we caught you. This was really, I mean, we literally drove into the driveway here <laughs> after lunch together. And yes. I said, do you have time before you get on that plane? Mm -hmm. So here we are, and yes. we will be praying for you. Oh, thank you so much. And I just really want to encourage you to um, think about, maybe you're not ready right this minute, but wherever you are, you can't lose by saying, Lord, mm -hmm. use me. All of me, I'm just available for your plan. You know, the Bible in Romans 12 and two says, God's plan is good, pleasing, and perfect. You wanna waffle around or you wanna go for the gold? Why not? You know, we'll pray with you. We can help you do this. Call the number at the bottom of your screen and we will agree with you, lead you to him in prayer and you can pray those words and then get your journal ready, okay? Just like Wendy. <laughs>